welcome to Whiskey at Work. Now, I'm pretty sure he can sync it up. Maybe after he, the first clap. Maybe he can, but we, four we, times. we look, no one's going to applaud for us. We're going to do it ourselves. <laughs> it was, we it we was clap a really this, awkward clap. <laughs> we clap him, this, sync up that he, sound. Um, now we didn't we didn't point this out last week because we weren't quite sure how this whole thing was going to go. <laughs> but there's magic happening behind us right now, and to the side. Of, I, of me shortly. Th this better be Houdini, by the way. <laughs> why? None why of does that it David need to Copperfield be, crap? Why I does want. it need to be Houdini? Why would you want magic? Oh, it kind I, of is. I want real old school magic. I want somebody to explain to me how green screening works to begin with. No, no idea what how the magic happens. Is you go onto the computer. I wasn't you tell, serious. You tell the computer. <laughs> I didn't want to know what color the <sighs> green is, and then it masks. That's what that it does. Out. Okay. Ask this any, is, ask any meteorologists in Black Hills, they'll no, tell you. I'm not going to do that. Because they can't say meteorologist either. How are you? Are you good? Because <laughs> it's been, it's, it's what, it's, it's Tuesday. We usually always do these on a Tuesday after 4 o'clock. We, we do do it while we're on the clock, while we're working. I had a bottle of wine earlier. Does that count? When did you get started today? I was wondering why you were a little more jovial than normal. Three. Oh, what do you think it, was a, it was a wine meeting, is what it well, was? Well, we thought it would be easier to loosen up tongues than it worked. <laughs> like, like this company needs tongue loosening. Well, it was client tongue sense. loosening. Oh, all right. We like, well, then to, I understand. We, did, we wanted to tell them to tell us how great or poorly we were doing. What did they say? We're doing a pretty good job. Are we? Well, we brought the wine. Did we? Oh. <laughs> Hell, man. That was a good job. God, let's talk about something, <laughs> anything. You that's, asked. that's whiskey related. Can we? Uh, this has been this a. Is, this is whiskey adjacent. <laughs> this has been arguably uh, a, a very unnatural time in our lives, hasn't it? <laughs> that's the segue. The last, yes, the last 18 to 20 months has been something I don't think any of us ever thought we were going to live through. And most of us have We're, lived through it. We have, most of which, us have lived through it. Which so Some far has been, has been good. Um, and so that's, that is kind of my segue to this whole thing. Because <laughs> whiskey, whiskey to me is, is what you see here, right? It's, it's in a bottle. It's, it's in unique bottles. Um, it, it has a, a story behind it. The bottles kind of tell that. I mean, wouldn't you well, say? They're, yeah, they're mostly, you don't see too many of them that are the same size. Shape no, exactly. Life. They all kind of take on their own personality. And I think that's what adds to the whiskey mystique. Wouldn't you agree? Whiskey mystique. The whiskey mystique. Maybe we should, that's what we should have called this, the whiskey <laughs> mystique. It's a great name. You guys to, go ahead and use that. I wanted to call go it to. Flight Risk. Then. Oh, that was a good name too. We should have done that, but we would have caused us to drink a lot more, <laughs> yeah, way more. Um, so the reason why well, the this one, okay, that, let me let me so against let me just cut to it. Whiskey in a can is unnatural. <laughs> it is one hundred and ten percent unnatural. I don't care what they try to do. Does it does it bother you to see whiskey in I, a can? I, that's a loaded question, but. I've never seen whiskey in a can. Back when this kind of stuff came out, it was in a bottle still. They, really? Yeah, they had Jack and Cola. But they were, I, I'm not their marketing guy, but I think they were trying to be wine cooler-esque. Oh, uh, the, time, the time when Zima was popular? Is that, well, is that what this Bartles is? and James and sitting oh, on the front porch. Oh, sure, okay. And well, I think they were trying to follow that market a little bit. I didn't know that they had these in can six, form. Six pack cans. Four packs. Oh, four, oh, four, four packs, packs and stupidly expensive, by the way, they, too. They were four packs back then, yeah. but they were bottles and a little. This is a four pack and it's, and it's $13 for a four pack, which I think is a little, a little over the top. How much is a bottle uh, of that uh, regularly? I don't buy the small ones, but I'm going <laughs> to guess that's about. <laughs> 19 bucks. Is that, is that all it is? Wow, I haven't bought a bottle that small of Jack either. I don't usually buy Jack. I'm looking for something. I mean, not that I don't like Jack, but I'm looking for something else because this is everywhere. You can get Jack everywhere. Anyway, um, they, they do, and, and I know Jack Daniels, I don't think they're the only one, but just recently they have come out with 
because they have their flavors of honey, apple, and cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. And now they have them mixed together in a can form. And when I saw these, it it just it just didn't it doesn't sit right with me to see the name Jack Daniels on a can. That's what really bugged me, and it just and it just you know carried over to the this has been the worst timeline we could possibly be living in right now. What are and they mixed with? That's well, the honey. Um, the Russ Russ took our can of honey. He's he's finishing it. His first sip was. Um, <laughs> there we go. Could have just green screened a throw coming in there too. I don't know. This is um, whiskey. Green screen the the Randy Johnson picture of the pigeon <laughs> I mean, hitting the bird. This is the whiskey, honey, and lemonade is what it's mis uh, mixed with. Lemonade. Okay. Yeah, whiskey, and that. and and it's 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 good. I mean, the mix is good. The the flavor is good. On um, in this. In the summertime, the, the, the alcohol percent. No, the alcohol is yeah. Wait, it's what fourteen. Proof. Come over to my house. <laughs> fourteen we'll, proof is what this would be. We'll Seven percent, right? Get this back up to twenty twenty-five. <laughs> already, already messing with the the the, yeah, the, the concoction. People yeah. who I mean, put I'm this a, together. I huh? like Jack and lemonade. I drink it at home all the time. I, it's not coming in at seven percent, though. Well, I I do. I I guess I wouldn't have mixed honey and lemonade together. Like they it's do here. And lemon. It's good for your cough. Sure. Like I would have. I. You know, I would have. I just. I guess I wouldn't rave have. Rave about honey and lemon and tea all Oh, the time. I love it. A hot toddy. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Hot water. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Little. Yeah. Um, and so this other one is the uh, Tennessee Apple Fizz, is what they call it, and it is uh, apple with soda and a twist of lemon, which we're going to try now too. And you know it is unnaturally hot today too. For this time of for, year. For the end so. of September at 90 degrees, it's... It's gross. All right, let's try this one. I was going to go home and paint the rest of my deck, but I think I might sit on the deck <laughs> and drink now. Um, Jack Apple and 7-Up is a fantastic mixture if you haven't had that anyway. I was having trouble saying mixture. You want that one? All right, you want to try this one? No, I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. I See, this to me, this already smells way better. Ooh. Oh, it's very, it's very soda forward. It's very, yeah, you can, can't you smell it? Yeah, well, no, because I just dove right in. I just took the drink and, but the, oh. the soda comes out there quite a bit more. Yeah, not, not sweet soda. No, right? not like at all. Soda, soda. Right. Like, if like you're like a scotch, scotch and soda. soda it's, yeah. it's, it's really soda, not. But again, it's, the mixture's pretty spot on. Once you get past that first taste, it is kind of an apple soda. Mm. Yeah, I, li I like that one better than the Let's honey. Little, and of course, that's what he's going to do is go right for that. Why that. would you do that? Jack I, Apple and regular Jack well, Daniels? I don't know. I'm not a, I don't like the soda soda. I'd rather have a... So you're not a scotch and soda? Do you like scotch and soda? No, I mean, as much as I don't like scotch, I'm still going to just drink it on ice. Really? Most of the time. I just kind of started to get into scotch and soda, which is pretty tasty. Um, well, but scotch has such a different taste. Well, now we got to get the cinnamon one of these. I, I'm kind of There's bummed that in. cinnamon one? Well, they went all with all three of their flavors and mixed them into the cans. Did they do that? Unnaturally, Un by the way. Yeah, there's no way Chris Fletcher's coming on here now. <laughs> now look, we're 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 not obviously. We were friends with Jeff. We don't know Chris that well, and now you're insulting him. Obviously, and we're not. Team. We're not. We're not bashing I the legend you, Chris. that is Jack Daniels. And still, my all-time favorite whiskey is Sinatra. So obviously, we're coming from a good place know, when but, we're doing but, but this, I right? I not to insult them on screen. I, I don't, I, I'm not insulting, but you know, not everything is a home run. This is an infield single, okay? <laughs> You're still getting on base with it, and there's going to be a good You're number the of people. Bunt that, <laughs> right. that blew the perfect game. <laughs> That's exactly what yeah. this is. Yeah, going to let you do it, but the opposing team is going to throw at your head next time. But again, if you are are getting into whiskey and you need to start with something that's a mix, you don't start with this. Well, you could do a lot worse. Go with the scotch. Let's put it that way. I mean, I don't know. This I mean, the, I, this is pretty good. It is pretty good. I like the other one better, actually. And I didn't think I would. What do you think is going to be behind us in this episode? I don't know. It's because we 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 were just it scares the shit out of me. We we didn't go through didn't. Russell's head after we talk about these things. And, and then there's there there might be something over here too, which I'm 
kind of excited for. I, I, I hope it, uh, behind you, I hope it's a shark. Because that's I know, not, that, I know that you won't be able to watch it. None of that's funny. <laughs> All right? If you put a shark here and a picture of an iceberg here, I'm out. I'm just done. I'm not going to bother with these anymore. These are dumb and I don't want to do them. Jaws coming out of the water the first time oh, right up on God. I hate sharks so much. I know. Oh, I hate them so much. Well, you have to have an irrational fear. You have to have something well, I, that's the very definition of irrational. I'm, I don't like sharks and I don't like pictures of icebergs. They're, de they're the definition of irrational. Totally irrational. Now give me something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Come on. Give me you something like the that. The fact that you don't like pictures. I don't like pictures. Of that of that is my irrational fear is your irrational fear of <laughs> no, pictures of icebergs. It doesn't count. You don't you really don't have anything? Well, I don't I don't know how to compare that. I mean, I okay, I understand that you don't like sharks, but a picture of a shark it's still terrifying. It, it, I just don't like I to look at it. That I don't understand. Mm -hmm. A picture of an iceberg I really don't get. That, that, that goes, never, that, there's, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mentalness that, there's a lot of darkness in there with that that would need Titanic, to go. You didn't did you? Oh, God, no, I wouldn't have. About, All right. About 30 minutes in. It was have we gone minutes. far enough with this one? I think Icebergs we have. awesome. I think we have. If you're not going to share something, then then I'm not going to share well, anymore either. Right? I, thought, fear. I thought we had kind of reached a point I where we I, could. I wasn't prepared. You, you barely prepared me for the stuff we well, had to drink. An irrational fear, I think everybody can kind of just bring up know. to. Really? I don't know. Long division? <laughs> Quadratic <laughs> equations? Long division, right. I'm okay. If you're not going to take this seriously, then I don't care anymore. Anyway, go try <clears throat> go try one of these. New new math. <laughs> new math is what gets you. I can get a quadratic right. equation on occasion as well. But An long equation, division uh, I can do. Equation on occasion. Great I band know. name. Go ahead. Take that one. Take it. It's yours. I just... 100% yours. I need a point. All right. Whiskey, honey, and lemonade, and the other one is Jack Apple, soda, and lemon. The honey, the honey and lemonade was better. It's I, mean, a, it's, we're, I agree. We're comparing. Unless you're a soda fan, you might like it. Anyway, check them out. Uh, four pack is around $13. You should be able to find if, them in most. If, if you want to like these a lot, try a bottle of wine first. Point North Pinot is pretty good. That's fair. Anyway, thanks for watching this edition of Whiskey at Work.